Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard and I have a plan and it includes putting paint in those shovels right there and adding it to a 10 by 20 inch canvas. Hopefully you can see all of that. My glasses are right there. Oh, I love it when they're handy. And I'm going to try and be a little faster this time than I was last time. I'm going to try and shake my paint before I use it. That was Floetrol. But I don't really mind if there's a little flow troll to tell you the truth. It doesn't bother me a bit. I will mix those together. Oh, there's the color I want over here. And I may put a little put a little orange in there after. I want some more purple. I'm gonna do a painting similar to a painting I just did earlier today, but I want to be able to add some rocks this time, which I did not do last time. And I want to have enough paint, which I also didn't have last time, but that's okay. If you have enough paint to start one of these scapes uh, and you don't have to squeeze any in after you put it on the canvas, it's actually not such a bad thing because you get to keep all your patterns from tipping. If you have to use a spatula and swipe things in, in, into place, you lose some of the cool patterns. And since I'm a big fan of the patterns, these I, yep, these I shook earlier. Try and get everything in there. An equal amount. Throw a little bit of this and that. That was the same color, never mind. I want some magenta up there in that sky. I am going to stick my three acre or, or bamboo skewer right in there. And what do I want? That's rocks. So I'm going to do a little bit of black, a little bit of silver, which I need to add some uh, flow troll tool and, and shake up because it's way, way too thick. Put a little copper in there. gold in there. What's handy is the big bottle. Throw a little green in there for seaweed. Maybe some darker green or some of that teal is good right there. Maybe it's good and maybe it's not. I just, I'm not sure. I kind of want some gray but I don't have anything other than that silver. Or I could put some white in there. I don't think white's a good idea. It just um, it draws the eye too much. I want to make sure that I have all the colors I want in here. Then that's not coming out. And I need to leave it someplace that I can clean it out in a moment. Please come out. No, it's going to explode if I do that. So let's not do that. Oh, that's a good idea. I did put these other little containers out here because they would be good for something. And... I'm not sure what, but I'm going to leave them handy in case I decide that I need them. And I am going to add some more paint to my watercolors. And I'm going to take a chance and throw that orange right in there for that sky, which now looks officially like way too much paint. I'm going to shake up my white, and I'm probably going to use that white in the sky area. This is a diff little different than the last time. And I'm going to do a couple other things among them. I'm putting some, do I want, I love the Prussian blue. I don't really want to waste it down the middle, but I guess I'm going to do that anyway. I'm going to lay a, a bed of colors and use my OXO omelet turning spatula right across before I pour those other colors over just because I can. Hey, that's the name of my book on the Amazon link underneath the video. I like to have a little bit of wet, white paint, wet paint, wet paint, um, because it does facilitate the sliding of whatever you add on top of it. But um, I don't like the white per se in, in the darker colors because it tends to want to pop through, which if it were a ring pour cup like I did the other day when I did escape, it might be okay because it sort of came out foaming like waves and I like that. Um, I just ran that into my hand. I'm going to hope that I can get most of this 
most of those edges covered afterwards. I'm going to wipe off that blue even though I hate to. Doesn't matter if there's a little schmutz in my sky right now. Skies are often blue anyway. I'm going to just not worry about whatever that looks like right at the moment and continue on. I would like some of that down the edge and I have fortunately enough dripped over so that I think I can make that work. So this is uh, a little more preconceived. And I'm going to start out with the same method that I did last time and I'm going to tip the top of this right on to that edge catcher. Let it pool. Rock it so it covers the edge. Grab a hold of it again. This way, if I don't like what I'm getting, I can go back and forth both ways. And I can let that color run down to where it needs to go. I'm really tempted to put some lighter pink in there, but it's a pretty cool sky, really. It might be a swipe, swipe sky if I don't absolutely fall in love with what I've got there, but I've got enough paint pooling and I'm almost, I've almost covered all my little spots. So now I'm going to rock it and send it right back again. I'm actually going to scrape it and push it. And since I know my tools are clean over here right now, I'm going to grab, yeah, I'm going to grab the extra paint and I'm going to put it right up at the top where I need it to cover. And then I'm going to go right back over there again, take a chance. Actually, I got plenty of paint where I need it in a minute. I don't know about the rest of this though. I'm not, I'm not feeling it. I've got all this paint right here in my shovel that I didn't scrape out with my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatula. And I really want some more pink. And I guess I just didn't have enough paint again. I, I'll learn eventually, I guess. By letting the rest of that paint fall over there, they will have an, uh, an opportunity to mix. Rock that again. And I'm going to send it up to the top again. Because I like it when the patterns in the sky look kind of different. And they do right now look kind of different. I'm not sure it's the different I was looking for, but that's okay. If I rock this over again, pull it over again, I mean, I can also send it back again. Looks like a storm is brewing. I want all that to come down this way. I might even not put that back into the pattern. Or I'd love to sort of try and put it on the other side. I wonder if I can do that. Why don't I do that? Because I've never done that before. So let's go ahead and put the paint that was left over from the other side back on the opposite side. Just in, just because I can. I'm using all kinds of other stuff onto my hand and under the tile. I'm going to put that away someplace I can get to it. And I think I'm going to rinse off my hand. And then I think I'm going to be tempted to take a quick torch to that. To get rid of any bubbles or help create any cells that want to be created right now. Add a little sun in there if I want to. I'm thinking about it. I like the, the cells in the sky are pretty awesome right now. I really want to put a little drop of sun in there. Which may actually probably morph into something when I tip the other tip the other way with all of this.
Let's just keep scraping out our shovels. Not wasting much of anything, which is my favorite thing to not waste things, especially when those things are paint. Throw it in the bucket. Go back and grab some more paint. I see that thing that does not belong. What are you, thing? You are a thing. I cut all my fingernails, so now I don't have paint removal. I really just want to do all kinds of stuff to experiment. I'm hoping that the wet paint that I have down there is still wet enough to help this, this ocean color flow. Because I don't have a tremendous amount of time. And I need another edge catcher. And here we go, I've got one. I'm going to let this flow over. And back. And yes, I see the sky is moving at the same, the same time. I am going to hope that I can... I see that rather large thing in there too. Hopefully I have a long enough fingernail to let that happen. I would like to keep the stripes in my paint, and I would like to not, what are you, thing? I would like to not have to swipe, but that doesn't mean that I'm gonna get away with that. Because it looks like I still did not give myself enough paint. But I think if I rock it, and pick a color, any color, pick a color that I like, like this, Pick a color that's coming out, maybe. And add that in there. Let's pick another color. Hopefully we'll still get to keep most of what we like about what we've got. And I'm hoping, against hope, that that is going to be enough paint. And starting with the side we were already on, I'm going to tip it over again. Paint flows to paint. I'm pooling paint. I'm rocking my edge. I can definitely put an edge catcher, I mean a bamboo skewer. <laughs> I want to call everything by the wrong name. I could put a bamboo skewer in there. I could put a basting brush in there, but I don't think I really want to do that. I am going to use the paint on the edge catcher and remove it with my spatula and put it on the bottom while it's still nice and wet, rather than leaving it to get glopped up. You now I'm only halfway through on this. Kind of want to. I kind of want to see what happens if I just drag it over into that blue, other than what I see is happening, because it's kind of a neat effect. It's not what I was expecting to do, but I had suddenly got this idea. And there is that color in the Caribbean, in tropical waters. And I want horizon line. I also might want some reflections in the water since it looks like uh, there's a heck of a pink sky up there. I don't want any of that blue left. So I think I'm just going to pull pull this across and let it blend. Back to basting brush. I thought I wasn't going to do that. Let's, let's just see how it looks before we make any final decisions. And if I've got any more, yeah, I've got sky colors I can put in the water with the basting brush after I clean it off. Don't want any canvas showing. I 
I don't mind if the other color comes through in places because it's going to wind up looking like reflections. I'm going to clean that off for a second. That's kind of neat. I like it actually. Don't want to get all, rid of all of it. Just, just blend it a little bit from side to side. Use the drips that are going over the bottom to touch up that. I'm trying to remember what color. Oh, I used the, I used the Prussian blue, and I've got it on my finger, and I'm gonna touch up that whole edge right there, right now. Steal the rest of it off the spatula with my finger. Just tap, tap, tap right down there. I'm going to dip over here, dip a few, I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm going to steal some paint and change up the design on both sides a little bit. It's a very calm, calm swimming area, this, this particular. I'm being very delicate because I really don't want to drag up, dredge up canvas. And I haven't torched down here yet, so that means the surface doesn't become too sticky or gloppy. And I want to keep an eye out for bubbles as opposed to what might not be bubbles, which are pieces of congealed paint that get stuck. I got two minutes left to tell you guys to shop my Amazon link if you're interested in seeing what kind of materials I like. And uh, if you're looking for my book called Because I Can, and if you might want some gold mica powder, just ask me for the recipe. And I added a few more colors of mica powder on my Amazon link, and I've made them up, and I like them. Uh, same recipe. I want to grab some of that pink right off my tile. I've got mosquitoes. And throw it right in the water while I still have a chance. I might want to do something else to the sky. I didn't put my rocks in there. I'd really like to. I'd like some more orange. Why don't we go ahead and try and put some rocks in there. Where's my rock mix? There it is. <laughs> Let's go ahead and stick the basting brush in there for a moment. Let's see what we get. Seaweedy rock. Let's let that go right over the side. I think I could have used a little more black. That's different. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm in love with that, but I suppose tomorrow I could pour a new rock where the old rock wasn't making me happy, but I, I'll give it a shot anyway. Sometimes it takes me a minute or two. I think I want some more black in that. Uh... That's Prussian blue. I'm gonna clean off my spatula. That's me with one minute left to tell you, please give me a thumbs up if you like what I do. It helps the YouTube algorithm know where to place my videos and I do sell my artwork. If you look under the video link, you will find Pinterest and Instagram and Facebook albums that are accessible by joining the group called Facebook Expressionist Art Studio Fans and Collectors. I'm going to throw another rock in there after I get some black, which I'm not having an easy time finding. So when you come back, you'll, uh, you'll expect to see another rock. And uh, I'm not too unhappy with any of that. I'm good with it, in fact. But I kind of need to see what's going on. So that's your last look. Just put a few more things right down at the bottom. And dip a little, dip a little <laughs> spatula in there. And 
not worry too much about anything.